transfusion. Although we don't get to see what actually happened during these sections. Right, how did this result go? Because I don't believe it went very well. Failed, yes, we failed. State of the donor, 50%. Love perceived, 0%, but he fucking cared. Uh, diagnosis, paranoia, prescription, he's too insistent slash annoying. He asked me about the cuts. The ones I made yesterday. But all I wanted was pain. Well, I'm not the one to give it to you, buddy. Sorry. Nothing more than pain. I don't deserve anything else. Oh. And there's nothing wrong with you. You are not a burden. Talk about misconstruing everything. Please don't leave me. And then... This is definitely the epilepsy warning. Even I didn't like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sliding off my chair. Hello, it's me. Yeah, boy. You're Space Knight. Was that was that what it was? Hi. Oh, we're at. Oh. We're at his house. Uh, yeah. What's wrong, Sune? I guess he's cute. No, he's not cute. He's submissive. Too weak. He's sweet. No, he's not sweet. He's obsessed. Too weak. We should talk about the other night. I want to help you. Mm -hmm. Results are going to be really bad. Transfusing completed. State of the donor 25% weak. Pain level 100%. Love perceived 0. Diagnosis. Circular uh, arguments. Yep. And BPD. Can't handle this anymore. I need to protect myself, my identity. I guess it's time once more. Yeah, but... Oh, this is so typical. It's like, oh my god, like, everyone leaves me in the end when actually it's them leaving them. Like, that. yeah, they, when they leave the person, not the other way around. Farewell, Nuki. Like, and they don't care. They don't give a shit. Because over the slightest thing, like, they don't really even know what they want. But they know when they don't want it, like when they don't want it, but they still might want it at the same time. Stupid dear stars. It wasn't my fault. We saw the bottle. I got an achievement called Perspectives, which I guess means we saw them from both perspectives. Oh no, I feel like I'm on that one. Oh no, I'm on the star one. How did I get to the star one? I don't know what determines anything in this game. Is this us orbiting again? Like we're what? We're separate. We're like we're still connected, but we're st we're like separate. Instability, a hundred percent. Yikes! There is music. It's just not really showing up. It's all my fault. No, it's not. Hard. He hasn't responded to any text since the other day. He's disappeared without a trace. But I really need him. I think. No, you don't. I'm such a failure. I gave him everything he said he wanted. And now he has a new soulmate. What did I do wrong? This is... This is a little too real. They always have a backup, bro. If only I'd be more patient. If only I'd be more understanding. Doesn't make sense. Every mistake I made was something he wanted me to do. I'm so angry with myself. I've been an awful excuse for a night. So pathetic. So needy. I deserve every last thing he said to me. I just need... I need to confront him one last time. I know I can make him change his mind. I've got so many things I need to say. I'm sure he's capable of understanding that I'm the one for him. 
I'm sure. Nolan, you're a fool. Oh. I'm disgusting. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh no, where did it go? Baby. Did you neglect it and it died? I'm sorry. Take me away from here. Well, you know we need to look at the book now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everything, everything's being crossed out, yeah. Yeah, it's still framed like that. The boy took his hand and together they flew across the milky skies of infinity. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I understand you don't feel like playing the piano right now. We're at the star ending, right? That is a star. Gotta look nice. Maybe if I used it. It's all my fault. Uh, stay away from that razor, please. I ruined everything. No! 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 No, I didn't want to do this, please! No, stop. No! <laughs> He's like, I need to throw these away, so I thought it was empty! I thought it was empty, stop! No! Put them back in! Put them back in! Stop! You're not, you're not swallowing these, right? Damn, it's empty. Great, well... Wasn't ideal, was it? Really? Help the Milky Way Prince save the Space Knight. <sighs> I have butterflies in my stomach. This place looks like an empty cocoon, an abandoned snake malt. I'm not sure I want to cross this threshold, as I don't belong as, as if I don't belong here. Not anymore. I can feel the temperature drop when I step inside. My mouth is freezing. It's so fucking cold in here. I can't move my tongue. Maybe it's an involuntary reaction. Or maybe I'm responsible. I'm fiddling with a, a lip balm, by the way, because that's what I do when I'm uncomfortable. I fiddle with things. Every step hurts. Every step is a knife. Skewering my flesh. I made a promise to Sune. I said I could never let him go. I could never abandon him, not now, when he needs me the most. But I feel weak. Well, yeah. I'm so scared that he could explode. He keeps acting like it's inevitable. Can I still save him? Uh. Sune, I can't know everything about your sickness. But I think I'm infected too. I feel wrong, useless, and alone. Like I can't do anything right. It's so I'm so scared that I could explode too. But what then? I don't want our reign to end. It's already ended, dude. Oh, we're there already? Cool. <laughs> I don't see him. Oh, but that door at the back's open. 
May I come in? Sune? His bed's gone. Are you here? Uh, that door is open. I don't have any control over this. I'd rather he didn't just pop out of nowhere. And do the balloon rubbing thing again. I am impressed with the decision to use that sound, honestly, because it's... It's a, it's just a very good fucking sound to use. It's very, um... It's very apt for the, the moment, so it was used in. Milky Way Borderline. What is this room? Are those urns? Uh huh. Can I look at anything else? Oh, he hasn't been sleeping well. Wait, why do you have a cut on your face? Or like, why do you have, why do you have it on your on your face? I don't even recognize myself. I'm not the guy with stars in his eyes anymore. It was my defining trait. What made me unique gave me purpose. My heart, my heart is breaking. It's unfamiliar. For the first time in months, I'm worried about myself. At what point did you take over? I can't even remember the last time I thought about myself. This whole story emptied out my identity. I knew it was happening, of course, and I'm aware of it now, but it didn't matter. I needed to save Sune. I thought I was destined to play a supporting role. As if supporting someone like Sune could have been the pinnacle of my own achievements. I can't abandon Sune to leave him by himself. That would make me a horrible person. Could I remain unmoved, watching the love of my life die? I can only stand back and watch while the one I love goes towards his death, knowing I can't do a thing about it. They say you can only take care of your- you can take care of others if you take care of yourself first. Oops, sorry. But that's easier said than done. My happiness and Sune are one and, the, and one and the same thing. I can only be happy with Sune. But I'm starting to wonder whether that's possible. I mean, it's... It's true. Everything you said is true. Not really much more to add to it. Helping this person... Who you've either convinced yourself you love, maybe you do love them, or at least a part of them, maybe what they showed you at first. You know, you want to make them happy. You devote yourself to them completely. It's not always obsession, exactly, but you definitely are not on the list of priorities anymore. Maybe you weren't even before then. But at least devoting yourself to someone else makes you ignore the fact that you're not devoting yourself to yourself. You know what I mean? You're not taking care of yourself. You don't... You know, whatever. <laughs> so this is the Milky Way. It's not what I pictured. It's strange. Everything I was hoping for feels suspended. I can't find Sune. Ah, it's you. Leave us alone. Every story ends. Deal with it. I'm not following you. I feel so sorry for you. Are you really so pathetic that you couldn't find anyone else in the last few months? Uh... First you torture him, then you come here to cry about it. I don't understand. Farewell. Can you tell me where Sune is? I guess we're asking other stars, right? How dare you speak to us? The nerve. Sune told us everything. What? You are not one of us. And we have to think about what's best for Sune. But I... How could you cheat on him? 
cheap. I sometimes wonder if that's what my ex tells other people, even though it was absolutely the other way around. I didn't. He told us everything. What? It's not my fault. We wanted to believe that. Please wait. Goodbye. I promise to always protect you. And trust me, I've done it. I thought the only way to love others was to love unconditionally, even if that meant becoming a martyr. Growing up, I was told to be tough because it was the only way for me to get by. They told me that otherwise I'd never be safe. They said, you'll always be someone else's prey. They told me I was so wrong or right, judging my choices, more times than I can count. They told me I was too old to have fun since I was a kid. And now I'm here with the ghost of my youth. I've been chasing and crossing the lines of love, life, and my past. Empty. What's up with them, for fuck's sake? It's like the sky is falling. But then, maybe this is just another phase. Just forget me. I'm about to obliterate you all. It's just another way to keep the fear at bay. And it's not so bad, after all. Actually, I feel lighter. After all, they were his friends, not mine. Even though he didn't seem to really love them. So he met his friends? Like, see, that's, that's, what, that's what was confusing me a little bit. Because I was like, this sounds like something that mutual mutual friends would say when you went to go and talk to them or something and he had told them lies about you that's what that's what i actually got from that and i was like no but it can't be because we never met any of his friends but maybe we did again i guess we just never saw it i promised to never leave you i kept that promise i'm here but everyone has left me it's not fair i've had enough should should I give up? Should I just forget about it? Maybe one day things will get better. Maybe one day my vision won't fail this way. Maybe one day I can turn all this pain into gold. I should move on, I should focus on my own goals. Like I've never beaten myself up for trying to prevent your suicide, for trying to preserve your soul. What? I'm not sure that this world I yearned for ever belonged to me. I know you only want to own me. You presented yourself as a victim, but how can a victim be so powerful? What I'm trying to say is... Am I really happy? It's been so long since I got through the night without nightmares. It's been so long since I've really, I felt really alive. There's no such thing as space princes. I promise to love you unconditionally. And trust me, I did without reservation. I always will. I've never felt something burn so brightly. But if I can't love myself, there's no future for us. I have to know the limits to my own strength before I try to be strong enough for my beloved. What does that mean for unconditional love? That you keep cycling through your own glitches? I... I know you're scared, but I've been terrified. That I'll never find anyone with whom I can establish a deep connection. And then to lose the only one I found. So, there you are, Sune.
I've been looking for you. I had thousands of things to say to you running through my mind. But now I've got nothing to say. I've decided to accept your silence. To accept your disappearance. To open my eyes and realize that the star I've always been chasing, it's not you. Don't misunderstand me. That star doesn't belong to anyone else. It's my star. I've been looking for myself all along. It was all in my eyes. I've been desperately in search of the person that I want to be, not who I want to be with. A role model. I tried to get that affirmation from others. But this can't happen because of someone else. It has to come from me. I understand it all. It's useless trying to find someone to live for. It's enough to find someone to live with. I realized that in trying to support you, I was fostering your destruction. The only thing I could have done to help you was to just say no. So, that's what I did, right? We all have problems, I have problems. It's up to us to try and solve them. Helping comes from a place of love, but there's no point in trying to help someone who doesn't want to help himself. I understand that no disease justifies violence. You don't win a fucking prize for becoming someone's scapegoat. Sometimes we should just let people face the consequences of their mistakes. I'm talking about you. This has never been a connection. It was a transfusion. A one-way street. So please don't wait here for another side of me to emerge. Don't wait for another flower to bloom, grown in your gore. I, I just have to. I must kill this relationship and this connection. another one. I'll take back my life. It doesn't matter if it seems impossible. I still have a lot to do. I still have so much to live for. So, this is what's left of me. It's not much, but it's enough. I'll call you Anita, my girl. I'll put you in a fish tank. I lost my spine, but I know where to find it. It won't be easy, but I can't pretend anymore. This was all probably necessary just to get to this point, to mature. In a sense, I can say I really needed someone like Sunia in my life. Okay, I disagree agree with this on a massive level. It created a turning point. I'm not into shit like, if I could start over, I'd do it all differently. I probably needed this experience to reach this conclusion, and I feel like this is the best ending for me. Oh, Anita, I promise I'll feed you daily. I'm starting to feel like I could accept myself. A wonderful, flawed, sexy guy. That's me. 
I'll take care of myself. Love, respect, forever. The sky never appeared so full of light. There are thousands of stars, each with its own life, each with its own death, each with its own gravitational field. We really need a Milky Way. It's our lighthouse, our Araby, our green light. We need it so we can calibrate our expectations and our vision. Part of us needs something to live for that's unattainable. Wrong. But we need to know where to set boundaries to preserve us and to preserve... Uh, that precious thing. The Milky Way is so much more beautiful if seen from Earth. Magic disappears if we know its secrets, after all. From this fragment, I will rebuild my life. I'll grow back like a starfish. And I'll finally be able to make my own star shine by itself. Farewell, Milky Way Prince. Forever, the Space Knight. I got the achievement Fresh Start. I can see where it's coming from with the whole, what if I never had this experience, then I would never have gotten to this point where I couldn't start making myself a better person. Maybe that's just because I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> well, I think I got the best ending somehow. I. I don't really know what the turning points were. I think the no was the, was the big turning point on that one. And it felt good. <laughs> Written and directed by Lorenzo Redelli? Daily? Redelli? I don't, I don't know. Uh, story, music, and characters by the same dude. Did one dude make this? People, so, so so there was a release manager and editors. Did one dude make all of this? That's crazy. I don't really know what to say about this game, like other than what I've already said, you know. Did actually get me. Actually, I think that people who haven't- <laughs> this is a very targeted visual novel in my opinion. People are either going to- there are three ways that this would go. Alright, so the first way is the way that it went for me. You, you know, you've, you've experienced something like this. Um, maybe multiple times, haha. Uh -huh. Um, and, you know, it, it gets you. So you're like, wow. Like, I'm never playing this fucking game again, but it was good. Like, it was a good experience. Um, I mean, it actually made you, like, feel something. Or there's another way that people could go where they might romanticize this type of relationship. I don't know why the fuck they would, but it's because they're, like, 2D boys and, like, 2D pretty boys. So then they kind of romanticize it. I know there are people out there like that. I've seen that. Um, and then there's the third way, which would be people who just don't get it. They're just like, eh. It was okay, but I didn't really get it. And I've seen that because I saw it on reviews where they were like, I don't know if I get this. I think it has pacing-ish problems. And I think bits are cut out that maybe needed to stay in. But also at the same time, I don't know how integral they are to the story because everything that you needed to know, I guess, was kind of in there. Either in your face wise or in a more subtle way like in the colors, in the stuff in the background, or like the transfusions, you know? <sighs> it was good. It was good. I did. I did like it. I'm never playing it again. <laughs> Probably. Um, but it was good. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got it in the humble choice this month because uh, I'd wanted to play it. But yeah, I will see you in whatever I play next. Bye.